Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Kirby Superstar. I don't know about you guys, but I was just freaking out a minute ago. My Super NES wouldn't turn on, but after a few jiggles, it finally turned on. But then I was worried about losing my save data, but thankfully I didn't lose it, so... <sighs> Thank the gods, they want me to finish my Let's Play, so... Let's go ahead and start the next level, which I believe is called Half Moon. Yep, Half Moon. This is the last full-length level we'll play in this game, like the entire project, so... Let's get used to this. The end is coming. It's coming ever closer, but it is definitely coming. Let's go ahead and use Crash again. I don't know why we used Crash there, just because. Okay. So this level is pretty wind-heavy. There's a lot of wind in this level, so be very careful. Watch out for ninjas, they'll, they'll try to hurt you, so be careful. Okay, fine, we'll use Crash again. Stupid ninja, stop it. Okay, there we go. Crash! Look at all the death. Okay, now, uh, this is actually a bit of a shortcut. Not really a shortcut, but it'll prevent you from going through this next deadly segment without flying in between. Well, you'll see it in a second. But if you don't take this uh, warp star, you'd have to fly through all those, like, lightning bolt squares. And if you hit them, you get damaged a whole lot, so you want to take that warp star. Don't worry, though, you wouldn't miss any power-ups, so don't worry about that. Speaking of power-ups, we have a power-up in this room somewhere. We gotta find it first. It, it can be kind of difficult to find, because you have to, like, see it out of the corner of your eye. Like, I'll show you what I mean in a second. Let me just get through this part right here. Okay, there. There it is. See this block? Yep, the power-up is in here. And of course, you get mirror. I don't know why I said of course, but you get mirror. That's all I really have to say about that. Um, I want to make a little correction. Um, because uh, I'm not really sure of this myself. But in another video, I said that Parasol was the best guarding power-up. But someone later said it was Mirror, which I guess is correct. But I didn't know if Mirror, like, blocked everything. It just, like, you know, uh, ricocheted, like, projectiles. I didn't know it was the best guard. But, whatever. I don't know anything about guarding. I really don't do guarding that much. So, I wouldn't know that for sure. But someone told me Parasol was the best guard. And then later, people made a big deal about how I was wrong about Mirror being the best guard. So, I really don't know. I know, I know. If I don't know, I shouldn't be saying stuff like that in my Let's Play, but whatever. Uh, up here we have a small little boss fight, so I'm gonna get ready for that. How am I gonna get ready? Well, I'll create a partner, first of all. We have to fight Chef Kawasaki and uh, the other fighter guy. I'll use... where's Bomb? I wanna use Bomb. Actually, no, you know what, I'll use Yo-Yo, since I haven't really shown off Yo-Yo in this um, game mode yet, since I got it at the end of the last video, so I'll show that off. Okay, kill you. Screw Yo-Yo, because I want to actually show off Chef one more time before I have to end the Let's Play, because I think this is the last instance where you can actually get the Cook power up, so say goodbye to Cook Kirby. We'll see you again in Brawl, though. I'm kind of glad they made that as Final Smash, although I think that they, uh, Crash Kirby could have been a lot cooler and more deadly, but Cook Kirby's fine, because that was kind of a cool power-up in this game. In my opinion, anyways. And you know what? Sure, let's just go to sleep one last time. Oh wait, maybe not. Okay, the last power-up. If you haven't been paying attention, is the ninja power-up, which we'll get right here. Let me get Yo-Yo first, though. Whoa. Stop jumping on your partner. Yep, it's ninja. And I want to go ahead and use ninja, because I didn't really show off ninja very much. So yeah, cool ninja moves you have. Ooh, cool little ninja kick. Ninja kick, ninja kick. Okay, let's go on. Because I am wasting time. I'm almost at the five minute mark. And we have a lot of cutscene stuff to do in this video, too. 
Okay, swim up these little water spouts, and look, there's the boss room. I wonder who we're gonna fight this time. Why, it's actually a boss we have fought before, but it's a different variation of it. Instead of the witch being last, the witch is actually first, so we have some new opponents in this uh, computer virus fight. Okay, good job, the witch is defeated. Next, we have to fight an evil knight. Okay, dodge to watch out for the evil knight's attacks. And then let's just do damage to it. Okay. For some reason, like, when you're doing ninja for this fight, you want to make sure you do this attack and not the, um, uh, the standard, like, throwing projectiles, because that actually won't do a lot of damage, but this attack... The one where he swings his blade down is actually a lot more powerful. Okay, and we have one more form. It's the Red Dragon. And of course, the Red Dragon attacks first. He kills my partner, so you know what? Go ahead and take Ninja. Because I'm going to use my favorite power-up, Bomb. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to use Hammer. So I can do major damage to this dragon. Oh, I missed. Okay, well, I'll get him next time. It's not doing very much damage because he's guarding. But uh, when he doesn't guard, it'll do a lot of damage, this attack right here. Oh, if I can actually hit him, though. Okay, I wasn't close enough, apparently. There we go. That See, that did, like, a lot of damage. 160 damage points. And there we go, the red dragon is defeated, and I have four minutes. You have two minutes! Kind of an inside joke between me and my friends, but I won't go into that right now. Speaking of me and my friends, um, Crystal Star Studio has actually uh, started recording, and we actually have our first few videos created at this point, and we're actually going to try to release them in the next week, so... Yeah, keep a lookout on Crystal Star Studio, because we will have some video ups, ver videos up very soon. Okay, so we have the seven stars uh, from all the planets, which means we can now go see Nova. Holy crap, Nova's huge. Now, apparently Mark's planned this whole thing. Because he is going to get Kirby out of the way and then also just say, Well, I want to control Popstar, so Nova's going to grant the wish of Mark's and not Kirby's wish to stop the Sun and Moon from fighting. So uh, this whole game was actually a giant ploy developed by this Mark's guy. Which actually kind of reminds me, um, someone asked if I was going to show the cutscene for this game, which I actually should have done. But I'm going to show all the cutscenes, like all the pre-game cutscenes for every game in like an extra video, so don't worry about that, I will show them. I probably should have showed this one though, like before I actually played this, but that kind of slipped my mind. But yeah, apparently Marx was behind the Sun and Moon fighting, and then he also, you know, schemed to get Kirby to go to Nova and then take the wish for himself. Okay, well, I'm getting kind of tired of playing Kirby Superstar. I want to play something like R-Type or a side-scrolling shooter. Oh, what do you know? Yay, it's R-Type. So, yeah, this isn't really a very hard segment. All you got to do is just, you know, kill these things with your star machine. It's kind of cool, but... I don't know, it just seems kind of out of place, too. I mean... Like, really, would you expect to see this in a Kirby game? Still, though, it's unique. I gotta give him credit for that. I just really hope I have enough time to show this in the next part of it, so I can, you know, end the next video, or, well, start the next video when I'm fighting the final boss. But we'll see what happens. Be careful right here. You have to go through these little rock segments. Be careful of all the enemies. It's a little hard when your up directional button doesn't work very well, but whatever. Okay, here's the second part. For this one, you have to destroy all the little towers. 
Um, to destroy the towers, you just attack those little cannon things. Uh, this actually is really difficult, because after you go through, like, all but two of them, uh, he actually goes backwards. So you have to navigate through some of these, uh, the last two cannon things, which is really hard, because it's just, like, you have to have exact movements in order to do it. And, like, I usually die at this next one. But don't worry, I beat it. And now we're actually gonna go fight the final boss, but... I'm afraid I'm out of time, so it looks like that'll be the first thing I do in the next video, so... This is Slim Kirby, see you guys in the next video for the conclusion of Milky Way Wishes.